Greetings and salutations, I am your humble Adobe instructor, A.J. Wood, and we're talking Photoshop CS5. Today's lesson is brought to you by MediaCats, your leading resource for instructor-led training. We're taking a look at the new image adjustment called HDR toning, and it's a great adjustment when you have a single image, a flat image, that you want to give an HDR look to. Now, it's worth noting before I get started, HDR toning will only work with a flattened image. So you can't work with a multi-layered file and you won't be able to take a layer and convert it into a smart object first. So let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you. You can see I have an image in front of you. I'll go ahead and duplicate the background layer because I want to work on a copy. If I go to image adjustments and I choose HDR toning, it is going to reinforce that this has to be a flattened document. So I'll go ahead and click yes and once again I've got a flattened document and it brings up the HDR toning dialog box. Now here I have all the same adjustments that I had talked about previously in the merge to HDR video. So I will start with the detail slider and you can see with a lot of detail we get a very illustrated look and of course if I collapse detail and make it a negative value it starts to wash out the image. So I'm going to go for a highly illustrated look to start and then you can make adjustments to all the other faders around that. So I can brighten the exposure, overall exposure in the scene. I can back it off a little bit so we can get some of the clouds. I can bring down the shadow detail, make the shadows darker. I can bump the highlight areas up. Hey, maybe bring that back a little bit so once again I don't blow up the clouds. And then you can see here if I want to increase the overall edge glow, that's what I use radius and strength for. So if I want more glow in the scene, uh, if, again, if I want to make it more kind of uh, realist or illustrated, excuse me, I can add a little bit more edge glow. Of course, if I want to pump up the saturation, I would use vibrance and saturation for that. Vibrance will pull the muted colors first. Saturation will bump up colors of the overall scene. But you're not left to just messing around with the faders yourself and tweaking and experimenting. You can actually start with one of the presets. So the same presets we have in Merge to HDR Pro, we actually have here in the HDR toning. So I'm going to go ahead and start playing with those. I can actually grab just a flattened preset It'll take a second, wipe it out. Notice I get kind of a cloudy kind of look to it. Um, I'll go with a uh, saturated or surrealistic uh, preset. This again is more illustrated um, and gives a kind of a moody feel actually. And then I actually can go with a monochromatic black and white feel. So I actually kind of like this. I think I want to tweak this exposure a little bit. Once again, I'm going to drop the shadow detail, but I'm going to pull up the overall detail slider so I'm going to give it a little bit more of an illustrated look. I'm going to drop the exposure down so we can really see some of the clouds there, give it kind of a moody feel. And then once again, maybe I'll bring up just a little bit of vibrance and get just a tad bit of color in the scene. Bring the saturation back and just a tad, a little bit of color there in that scene. So you can see here, I'll drop the radius because I don't want too much of a glow. Bring up the strength. And this gives me Hey, the previous image, and then here is my HDR. So that has been HDR toning inside of Photoshop. My name is AJ Wood, and I'll see you again. Thanks a lot.